I suppose I should expect this from a brewery named Everybody's Brewing out of White Salmon, Washington. But they say, our beer is premium, not pretentious. We create quality beer to foster connection and community, one where everyone has a seat at the table. Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I will be drinking and enjoying Everybody's Brewing's Local Lager Lager. Yes, that's twice. Um, but they are two different words. Logger, as in logging, one who cuts logs, trees, and deals with them. And then a lager, that is not ale, for beer. I believe this is my second uh, Everybody's Brewing beer. I assume they're relatively, relatively small dist- uh, distillery, brewery, uh, considering the, the, the places I can find them, which is to say, not many places. Uh, I find these pretty consistently at Spuds in Tumwater, if you live locally to me. Uh, if you don't, then, um, well, your mileage may vary. You can possibly ask a reputable bottle shop to order them in. Um, but their point of being just a, an everyday brew for everybody is uh, kind of held up by their ABV, which is 4.9, which is decidedly on the low side, certainly for an American beer and 18 IBUs, so this should be well within range for people who don't prefer bitter beers, people who want just an easy drinker, and I'm guessing that it is that it is um, targeted as an easy drinker, being as that's the sort of beer that is going to appeal more broadly. I believe the previous beer of theirs I had was uh, Porter, and I enjoyed that one quite a lot, so I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, this one holds up. Just to the nose, there is that nice kind of uh, almost honey sweetness, um, like a real light honey wildflower, um, not really distinct in its in its. Uh, it doesn't have any distinct notes standing out as far as the the sweetness goes, and that's all going to come from the malt from the grain that's used. I was drinking a a Maybach at a Ho River Brewing over the weekend. And I was really impressed at the sweetness of the beer. Like, it was a surprisingly sweet beer. And I believe I have reviewed one Maybach here on the channel. That would be by Silver City. And I don't know whether there was a canning issue or how old it had been in the can. I don't know if I was tracking dates then. Uh, but I do note it, uh, remember it having a somewhat of a metallic taste. Um, and, well, this Maybach definitely did not have a metallic taste, number one. Number two, it was really, really sweet. Surprisingly so. But the sweetness was, like, it wasn't a, a sugar sweetness or a fruit sweetness or a syrup sweetness. And I realized that was the grain sweetness, which, duh, that's what beer is made from. You, you run the water through the mash, through the, or, you, you know, you, you boil the grains... In, in the mash until they release their sugars. And depending on how you do it, e you can get a pretty sweet mash. And then the yeasts work on the sugars, that sweetness, to produce you know what your target flavor is as the beer goes. So the sweetness that I'm smelling in this, it kind of harks back to that um, grain sweetness. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I would describe it as. It smells good. It smells like a like a real light lager. I mean, this is very light colored. This is this is to the light side of straw. There's a touch of red, um, but only the slightest touch. The head's kind of lacy and fine. It's very clear. It looks pretty in the glass, that's for sure. The head's happy to come back too. Well, so let's see how it tastes. There's perhaps a just the barest spark of a citrus that kind of pops in, but it's a real, it's kind of a tangerine citrus that pops in towards the beginning, but then is gone. Um, and it is sweet, like the smell uh, leads me to believe. And the low ABV kind of, I guess, uh, agrees with that. 
the fact that they got a lot of sweetness out of a lot of sugars out of those grains and then they didn't leave it fermenting very long leaving it with this relatively low ABV so not a lot of the sugars were turned into alcohol I would imagine that given a different process you could produce a much stronger beer from this um, but that's just my guess I don't know all that much about beer beer brewing per se um, more than the average person but a lot less than the brewers a lot less than the brewers yeah that's a that's a good kind of a, a simple relaxing beer there is a, a hint of bitterness but it's almost it's almost more of a dryness than a bitterness which considering it's sweet might seem like a misnomer but it's like the sweetness stops rather than the bitterness is there and what's there just feels natural to the beer so this drinks really light the the finish is kind of just it it ends and then i'm left with the slightest rigid residual malt flavor and water very light very light personally i think i prefer more of a hop character just a little bit more being that this is a light lager the closest hoppier cousin might be a pilsner where they did intentionally add those hops to bring out a little bit of a bite to this to, to, to the pilsner and this has no bite to it or or the subtlest of bites the the beginning of a bite what flavors are in here are pleasant they're well balanced they're put together there's nothing singing discordantly or out of tune to the others and i enjoy that quite a lot But I think the the lack of a of of a that lack of the bite means that I'm not sure I would want to drink this on a on a particularly warm day because it might come across as a little bit flat. So on a relatively cool, this is mid 60s right now in mid June. That sort of temperature, uh, sunshine, yeah, sure, you'll want to drink it cold, and you probably want to, won't want to let it warm up all that much. Uh, just because it's probably going to taste more flat. Um, yeah, I would probably... I think that's how I'd recommend this beer be drunk. It's a tasty beer. It's a good beer. It's a beer I enjoy. Um, but maybe recognizing what it is. It's also going to be... So I'm approaching it as someone who has learned I appreciate more heavily hopped beers, right? If you're not a person who appreciates the more heavily hopped beers you're going to appreciate this beer more and probably in a broader set of circumstances than I would, right? So just remember that as you're drinking and enjoying your beers, it's your beer that you're enjoying, right? Well, not yours per se, but it is yours to enjoy how you will enjoy it. And if you prefer the sweeter beers, the softer beers, the simpler beers, or just the less hop heavily hopped beers, enjoy them, you know? Do it. It's your taste buds. It's your stomach. It's your enjoyment. Cheers. Anyways, this is me, Matthew. I have been drinking and enjoying Local Lager Lager by Everybody's Brewing. And I will catch y'all on the flip side.